it's one thing to like read a book and say these are all the requirements for how to structure a building and then it's like memorization but if you actually understand like yeah it's not going to be straight if we if we push on it it's not strong enough unless we put this bracing here so it gives a different perspective definitely it was always the idea to build a first year project with the students to get design build experience meaning hands-on and build things full size each year and a good project to start is a winter sport so ice fishing is big as you know here and uh, for students that are from here they know it for students that it's new for them that's great too and we all went out to Azilda to see ice huts being um, in action with all the kind of social dimension so they each built a small model of the ice huts before Christmas in groups and now since Christmas they've been building the full-size ice huts which are all behind us there's lights inside of the walls, so the walls will actually glow. So that's why we called it Northern Lights. And uh, we're going to have a light fixture inside at the, on the roof, so that'll actually add to the glowing as well. So inside these walls here, and the one behind it, there's LED strips, and they'll light up during the night. It's in the shape of a fish fin. Our part two was a fish. We tried to mix um, mediums between metal and wood. Yeah, so it's to get in out of the cold and then there's storage underneath the bench. So there's storage to put all your fishing stuff in there. I thought it was a good project because it kind of got us uh, breaking away from uh, the more kind of abstract projects to actually building a space that you're going to occupy. So it's uh, breaking away from, say, uh, carving out a block to actually creating a physical space that you're going to occupy, like a house, which is what architecture is about, right?